On this edition of Ween on the Scene, we traveled to D.C. for the inauguration, and of course we had to stop by the Hip Hop Inaugural Ball. All the footage is up next, so stay tuned. Hey, this is Dawn from Danity King. It's your boy Q from Day 26. And we're just saying hello to Ween, What's and we up? love you. The Hip Hop Inaugural Ball was hosted by Russell Simmons Hip Hop Summit Action Network, MySpace Hip Hop, and Heineken. At the event, T.I., Bow Wow, Young Jeezy, LL Cool J, MC Light, and Pastor Yearwood of the Hip Hop Caucus were honored for their achievements in serving the community. We managed to catch up with some of the celebrities on the green carpet and get their reaction on the inauguration and on the importance of the event. Well, the, the work that we have to do is for all of America, including African Americans. Uh, just by virtue of uh, certainly uh, as we celebrate Dr. King's uh, birthday, and even the progress that we've made, we know that we have tremendous challenges ahead. I'm, I'm so excited for not only myself, but for America. And I'm excited for the president and the first lady and their daughters. I'm excited for everyone that will ultimately be changed because of this experience. Yeah. I just think it's going to be uh, very monumental for all of us as Americans. I think that it is a sign of hope and it's also a sign of that dreams can come true because to live every day and get up and know that I ain't even got to call President Barack Obama president elect no more. You know what I'm saying? That change in itself is something that has exemplified change, not just amongst me from a personal standpoint, but from everything and everyone that I've known and have seen directly and indirectly. And it's just something that I can't even put in the right amount of words to really describe the fullness of how I'm being affected. 150 years after slavery, we have a Harvard graduate who is graduating uh, to the presidency of the United States. I think that I'm going to uh, re be reminded of the divinity that exists in the world because it's certainly divine. So when I see Barack, it's kind of like for, for, for a president, every president that we've had, they just seem like so distant away. You never really could get to him. For Obama, it's like he's really out here. He really cares. He's showing that he cares. He's um, I'm inspired. Man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm inspired to you know, get out there and continue to create opportunities for, for the youth, especially in the city like, like Baltimore, where I'm from. You know. I'm going to make a change for once in my life. It's going to be a real good time to make a difference. I'm going to make you right. You see, as I turn the car on, my favorite friend is cold. This way is blowing my mind. And I think I will see the day that white folks would ask me to comment on white folk business. <laughs> I came back from you three weeks ago and NBC said, Mr. NBC, Mr. Gregory, you think we'll ever catch Ben Laden? I said, we? <laughs> I ain't looking for him. You know when you're getting old, you know when you're getting old when somebody compliments them beautiful alligator shoes you wear and you barefoot. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Huh? I'm thinking about going over there before he get in the White House and dig up that rose garden and plant me a watermelon patch. <laughs> The landmark event was a great celebration for the momentous occasion. Thanks for joining us once again for Ween on the Scene. Make sure you check back with us regularly for new updates, behind the scenes access, and red carpet interviews. Bye.